this is a really great uh, uh, trick that I want to show you, and it's a way of taking multiple plugins and ganging them together into a uh, kind of a preset where you do a bunch of things to one clip at a time. So for example, here's a clip of uh, my friend Joseph Lenaschke on the Twip Photo Workshop. And I'm going to open up that clip and I'm going to apply the video filters color correction three-way color corrector. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a, a simple uh, crush of the blacks and I'm going to bump up the chroma a little bit. So there we go, uh, before and after, before and after. So that looks nice. Next thing I want to do is I want to I kind of blur out the edges. So I'm going to do that with my video filters, Joe's soft stuff, soft eclipse. Now, in order to uh, use this, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's, it's out of focus right there in the middle. So I'm going to open up the filters tab. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert it. And I'm going to take the softness, the blurriness rather, and I'm going to crank it up really high so I can see my top and bottom. And then uh, I'm going to pull this width out quite a bit. And I'm going to pull the height out quite a bit. And then I'm going to uh, soften that. And that's how quickly it goes to the out of focus. And then I'm going to turn the blurriness down because I really don't want it to be quite that blurry. So maybe about like that. And then the third thing I want to do is I'm going to go to Effects, Video Filters, Stylize, Vignette, and that's just going to pop down the corners just a little bit. So if we take a look at the three things we've done here, we've vignetted it, we've done the blurriness around the edge, the Joe's Soft Eclipse, subtle effect there, and we've done some simple color correction on the shot. Now, what I want to be able to do is apply all three of these effects to a bunch of clips at once. And not only that, I might want to save it because I'm just like, wow, I dig this look. I want to do it on everything in perpetuity for every job I ever do, which might be overkill. So in my bin structure over here, I have my bin zero effects. And inside there, I have a video, a video bin, and I twirl that down. So in there, I'm going to make a new bin, and I'm going to call it the twip look, OK? And in that bin, I'm going to drag my three effects. I'm going to drag in the color correction with the set with the settings that it currently has. I'm going to drag the Joe's soft filter with the settings that it currently has. And I'm going to drag the vignette with the settings it currently has. Now I'm kind of lucky, and it just so happens to be, that these three effects, which are which happen in this order, also happen to be um, alphabetical, but in case they weren't, I can come over here and I can put the number a number in front of them. So I'm going to go 0, 1. 0, 2, and 0, 3, and I'm going to put those there because, because the way this works is these effects alphabetically will apply in priority to the clip that I apply this to. But watch this. Here's what most people don't realize. I can put a bunch of effects in a bin, move to the next shot, take the bin full of effects, drag it over, and let go. And when I do, now I have those three effects, notice with the new names, 01, 02, 03, those three effects apply to my next clip. And then the real beauty of this is I can now select a bunch of clips, take that bin, and drag it over, and drop it over, and all three effects will get applied to every clip. Now again, the beauty of doing this is by saving this in my bin, in my you know, standardized template. I have this look applied to any computer that I bring my standard template to. So that's multiple effects all at once on one clip. And in honor of my friend Tony Salgado, I call this the Tony method because Tony is the one who pushed me to figure out a way to apply multiple effects to one clip all at once.